What's up guys, CJR here today. Um, I hacked my NES Classic. Most of you have probably by now seen or heard that the NES Classic Edition has been hacked. You are now able to load um, pretty much any NES game that you want. I wanted to make a video not so much as a tutorial of how to do it. I will show you how it's done. Um, but I wanted to talk about uh, the games that I put on there. Actually, I put a lot of thought into uh, which games I was gonna add. So basically, uh, from what I'm hearing, you can add, I think some people have added up to 96 games. I'm pretty sure it has to do with how big the game, some games are larger than others. Some games like a uh, Dracula's Quest Castlevania 3 is like uh, 260 kilobytes or so. And then some games like Bomberman is, I don't know, 40 or 50. So uh, the games can really vary in size. So that really determines how many games you can put on. I put 88 games on mine, so I added... Um, 68 games to the initial 30 that it comes with so uh, I put a lot of work into developing a list That's the first thing I did was make a list of games that I knew I wanted on there There were some very obvious ones for me and then some that I uh, I looked at a couple top 100 lists to get a better idea of, of uh, And remind me of some games that I should put on there. So um, the interesting process in modding this was or in hacking this was um, What what games I wanted to put on there? So I wanted to talk to you guys and maybe get some of your input um let me know in the comments below if there's any games that I didn't add that you think that I should have. I'm pretty pretty happy with, I'm not going to say pretty impressed with myself, pretty happy with the games that I have on there. I think it's a pretty definitive list of the best 88 games on the system. Uh, I don't have my capture card right now. I'm actually waiting for a new one, so I'll just have to point my camera at the screen, but it should look fine. So uh, we'll head over and we'll talk about the games that I added and how exactly I did it. Okay guys, so here is the tool that you need to download to um, add the games to your NES. It's a pretty simple process. It's This program is called HackChi2, uh, NES Mini Pimp Tool. Uh, this is version 2.5b. Uh, basically, you just download the software. Now, when I downloaded it, um, you'll see here, uh, basically you need NES ROMs in the .NES format. Uh, they cannot be zipped, so all mine were zipped. Um, I had to unzip them, and I added them to a folder to the left there. I don't know how well you can see that, but it says NES Classic. So I added the games that I potentially wanted to add to my NES Classic to the NES Classic folder over there. And then I, un well, I unzipped them to that folder, so they're in the .NES format. And then you can click on the bottom here. Um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. I'm sorry. I'm just quickly showing you guys. Uh, you click on Add More Games, and then you just go to wherever your .NES game file uh, ROMs are, and then you... Click Add More Games. Um, at the top here, you will see that the initial 30 that are on here um, are bundled into one package called Original 30 Games. And then obviously you check mark the ones that you want to upload. Um, I left the 30 on there. I, I would recommend leaving those there. I haven't heard anything um, about it getting messed up if you don't, but I just feel like they should stay. I don't really want to mess with the initial 30. I have heard that it is a possibility maybe that you could brick your system doing this. I haven't had any problems. I haven't heard of anybody actually doing that. Um, so yeah, there are the initial 30. You add the games. There's an add more games button right there. And then once you've added the games you wanted, uh, you can browse for Google images. So I'll go to, we'll say Arkanoid here. Uh, you hit the Google button and it'll bring up a whole bunch of covers for you. It formats them pretty nicely. You just double click on the one you want to use. They all look fantastic actually. Um, you can change publisher name right here. Uh, this is a Taito game. You won't actually see the publisher name. This is just for sorting purposes. You can sort games by publisher on the NES Classic. Um, then you can add release date. So I, I went online and looked up the there's a if you just type in NES database in Google There's a good uh, website where you can just type in the game It'll tell you when it was released who published it also you need to know uh, there's a max players option So you need to set whether it's one player two players not simultaneous or two players simultaneous so two players simultaneous would be a game like uh, Turtles Manhattan Project where you're actually playing at the same time um, Non-simultaneous would be, I think Arkanoid has a two-player mode where uh, you just take turns. So player one plays, then player two, one, when player one dies, uh, player two gets their turn. So that's non-simultaneous. Um, you can obviously change the name here. I did have some uh, issues with naming some of the games. Um, 1943 I had in here, and it just shows up as three, even though I have 1943 correctly in there. So I had to change the title to uh, The Battle of Midway. 
Same thing, uh, Xevious is spelled X-E-V-I-O-U-S, and it only showed up, it did not show the X on the NES Classic for some reason. It was in there in this program, but it did not show up. So I've had a few glitches. Um, I tried adding Gunnack. Um, some of the text, well, a lot of the, te most of the text in, the, in that game was um, really messed up. Uh, certain games I've had issues with, it, it gives you an error saying this does not have this uh, numbered mapper. Um, Clax was one of the Micro Machines. Uh, some of the Tengen, Tengen games, I want to say, had issues. Um, so those are the, some of the issues that I've run into so far. Other than that, it's really a fantastic program. Um, and it's quite easy. So once you have all the games set up the way you want, uh, with the art box art and all that stuff, uh, all you do is you hit upload selected games. The ones that are checked will be the ones that will be uploaded to your system. Um, I have 88 games. I wanted to leave a little bit of room to make sure I have room for save states, but I know people have up to 96 from what I've heard. Upload selected games to NES Mini, then it just walks you through the steps. It's relatively easy. You uh, make sure that you're obviously your uh, NES Classic, you unplug it from wherever it is. Um, uh, make sure the power button is not on, make sure it's off. And then reconnect the uh, NES Mini to the PC with its USB cable. Uh, and once you've done that, you hold the reset button as you power it on. Um, you'll hear a little uh, ding on your computer usually indicating that it's found like a USB device and then you can let go of the power switch once you hear that. Uh, I usually hold it for five seconds to be safe. It just says uh, after a few seconds release the reset button power LED should not be on which it will not be when it's hooked up to your computer. It just recognizes it like a external device but you can't really see, you can't see it as a universe, as an external device though but it's there. Um, it gives you that, at the, at the, at the bottom there, this is one issue I had, uh, the fifth one, if you, um, if you have not installed the driver, I believe the driver means to recog, uh, it's the driver to recognize the NES Classic. I had to do that bottom one, Zadig, I did that, and it just installs the driver to your NES so it recognizes it, um, in this program. So I did have to do that. But once you've done that, uh, you leave it on this screen, you do not plug it in yet. Once you, you hit upload selected games, you do that first. And then you plug in your NES mini to your computer through USB and, and then follow these steps. Um, and once you release that reset button at, at step four, it should start to upload your games to the system. Uh, and it takes, for 88 games, I think it took like two or three minutes. Um, and then it, it'll prompt you uh, that the process is done and wait till the red light turns off. That takes two seconds. Uh, and then at that point, um, I don't bother turning off the power. I just unplug it from the back of the NES Classic from the USB port. And then once that's unplugged, then you un, uh, turn off the power button because it's the power was still on from when you uh, had it hooked up to your computer. And then you just hook it up to your TV normally and everything should be good to go. Um, that ended up being a far more in-depth tutorial than I thought it would be. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go over and show you guys which games I put on the system here. Okay, so starting on the left there, the blue selected one obviously, Arkanoid. Balloon Fight was already there. Um, Arkanoid, I wanted to have a nice mix of games here. I also uh, have two boys that I play with too, so two player games were definitely in consideration. Um, I'm a big ball breaker, brick ball fan. Uh, baseball Stars. I wanted to put some sports games on here. Baseball Stars, in my opinion, is the best baseball game on the system. Um, it's a good baseball game. Uh, Batman. That's a must-have. Everybody should be putting that on for sure. Battletoads, probably the same with that one. Uh, it's a tough game, but fun beat em up Bionic Commando, that should be on everybody's system. Blades of Steel, in my opinion, should be on everybody's system. Blaster Master is a must-have. Uh, Bomberman 2. Bomberman 2 has a two-player versus mode. Part 1 does not, which is strange. Um, but we love playing Bomberman, me and the boys, so I put that on there. Bubble Bobble was there. Bucky O'Hare was the one I debated. Uh, it's a really good game. It's a really hard game. Um, that's not a must-have for everybody, but I definitely wanted that one on there. Burger Time, in my opinion, is another must-have. Uh, these guys were on it. Uh, Dracula's Curse. Uh, I wanted to have all three. Um, Drac part three, I think part two is my favorite. Uh, just I had that one as a kid, and that's the one I'm most familiar with. Cobra Triangle is a fantastic game. That should probably be on everybody's also, in my opinion. Contra, uh, Crystalis is a very good game. Chippendales Rescue Rangers. I went with part one. Uh, there is a part two, obviously. Uh, part one is the one that most people will have a connection to. It's a very good 
uh, Capcom game. Lots of Capcom games added um, with the games that I added. It's very Capcom was awesome on the Nintendo, uh, NES era. Darkwing Duck, very hard game, but a, a good game. Uh, a lot like uh, Mega Man. I think it runs on the Mega Man 5 engine, from what I heard. Uh, the first DuckTales, that's the one that most people have a connection to. Um, Double Dragon 2, I'm forgetting that I thought I'd added that, but that one was already there. I went with Dragon, I wanted to add a couple more RPGs, so here's where these two games come in. Dragon Warrior 4, I don't have much experience with the NES Dragon Warriors, but I've always wanted to play it, and I've heard, some people say 3 is better, some people say 4, so I went with 4, I wanted to try 4 out. And then Earthbound. This is Mother One in Japan. We never got this in this in uh, North America, so I thought I've actually played this on my uh, one of my flash cards. So I, I wanted one or two more RPGs, and I thought those were good choices. Uh, Gauntlet Two. Uh, me and my boys love playing Gauntlet. So this has up to actually four players, but you can obviously on this you can play two player only, which is fine. Um, Gauntlet One has a lot of glitches. That's another game I had issues with on here. Gunsmoke, I feel like, is a must-add. Same thing with Adventure Island, two very good games. Uh, Jackal's one of the last games I added. Uh, it's a good game. Um, it probably, if the list was uh, 80 games, it wouldn't have made it. But uh, 88, it did. Uh, Kung Fu, I felt like that should be on there. I think most of the original Black Box games, it's nice to have on here. Legendary Wings is a very uh, pretty cool shmup. Same with Life Force is a very good shmup. Little Nemo Dream Master. Uh, this is one that I admittedly don't have much experience with. I, I really probably going to play this next. Uh, Little Samson's a very good game. Very rare and very good. Uh, sometimes that games tend to be rare but not very good. Load Runner. I really like Load Runner, so I added that. Maniac Mansion. I just wanted to add a one of those style of games on here, and it's the best. Um, I went with Mega Man 3, um, I, 2 and 3 are the best. Metal Storm's a must add in my opinion, same thing with Mighty Final Fight, two amazing games. Ninja Gaiden 2, which one did I add? Ninja Gaiden came with it, Ninja Gaiden 2 I added I believe, yeah. Ninja Gaiden 2 is another must have. Paperboy I felt like should be on there. Kicks in my opinion, I, I love it, this is one of my favorite games, NES, Game Boy, Arcade, love that game. Uh, RC Program, I went with one. I think some people like two better, but one is the one I have a connection to. Rad Racer, I need another racing game. It's it's decent, and when you think Nintendo, these are the type of games that you think of. So uh, that did factor in. Rampage, I thought would be a fun game for the kids, and it's, again, a game that a lot of people had. River City Ransom is a must-have. Section Z, uh, Vertical Shooter. Shatterhand's an amazing game. Snake Rattle and Roll. I don't have much experience with this one, but I felt like I, sh I should add it. Might not have made it again if it was a top 80. Snow Bros. I really like. Another kind of hard game to find. Uh, Spy Hunter. Cool game. Strider. Uh, Super Dodgeball. Again, two-player game. Really fun. Super Spike V-Ball is one of my favorite sports games on the system. And then I went with all three Turtles games. I was going to leave part one out just because it's not great, but... Everybody has a connection to this game, including myself, so I felt like all three should be on there. Uh, two and three, Manhattan Project and uh, the arcade, fantastic games. Tetris must be on there. Everybody's got to put that one on there. That's one that was just definitely missing. Uh, and then 1943, I mentioned I had to change it to the Battle of Midway because the title had an issue. Wanted to put nine... Uh, I'm not really sure which one's better. Let me know in the comments below what you think, 42 or 43. The Guardian Legend, very, very cool game. Not a lot of people, not a, not a super popular game, but it's a, it's a good one. Tubin, I always thought Tubin was a lot of fun, so I threw that on there. Track and Field was one that just barely made the list, but I thought it'd be kind of cool. Multiplayer, uh, map button masher. Vice Project Doom, fantastic game. Uh, I went with Lolo 2, and that's the last game. That's it. So that's my 88 games that I added to the system. So... Uh, so anyways, yeah, like I said, I'm pretty happy with this list. Um, I should quickly mention, I should quickly mention here, all the save states work. Uh, I've tried save states on multiple games, loading them, saving them. Uh, it's been no problems. Uh, that's with 88 games. You can see the games that I've added. Uh, I've had no problem so far, so. Uh, I've tested out quite a few. They all play good. All the ones I listed play fine. This is such a good game.
anyways, yeah, it seems to be working flawlessly, to be honest. Really happy with how this turned out. Okay, guys, so that's my hacked NES Classic. Um, like I said, it turned into pretty much a full tutorial of how to do it. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think of the 60 or so games that I had, what you would have kept off or what you would have added. I might make some changes based on your opinions, but like I said, I'm pretty happy with that list. It's a wide variety of games. Um, like I said, a lot of games that I felt should have been on the original. Um, I'm, I'm more than happy with the 30 that were on there. I think they did a very good job. Um, but yeah, there, there's some games like, you know, uh, Tetris, Paperboy, I feel like should have been on there. Those are the 60 games that I added. Let me know in the comments below what you would have added to yours. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, do me a big favor and hit that like button. And if you haven't done so, uh, feel free to subscribe. Uh, thank you again for watching. And until the next episode.